I said play. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Bring it up. There we go. Hello, everyone. Alright. Bring it up. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? The very smartest amongst you will know that I started late today. Yes. Correct. But I wanted to try and get something working. I think it's going to work with a little bit of cobbling. We'll see. We're going to do it live. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What is that horrendous camera? You don't like my shirt? Really? I like my shirt. This is my beautiful shirt. This is my, uh... Hang on. Kitty. You want to go down? Oh. This is my beautiful shirt Jamble got me. This is my Christmas shirt. It's very nice. It's a very nice shirt. I like it a lot. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Strategy Guard donated $2. This says, my friend Ben said your head looks like a balloon. That's not very nice of your friend Ben to say, unless he likes balloons. Alright. So, we're gonna jump straight in. We're probably gonna get a couple of missions in today, instead of three. The three, I've robbed you of your third mission today. Because I started a bit late. I apologize for that. Alright, but we do have a mission to go on right now. Which I'm gonna jump straight into, because we've already waited long enough. So no need for funny anecdotes about my life or games. We're gonna get jump straight into this mission. This Guerrilla Op, which is Operation Dawn Shadow. Which we picked out of these two yesterday. We're going in for the scientist on a stealth insertion. Timer is not starting until the squad breaks concealment. Counters alien cipher and it's recover item from advent vehicle. Okay. Now I gotta pick. Is this my squad? I think I gotta I think I gotta repick people. I don't think I did this yet. Because I didn't wanna. I was gonna leave it till today. So I gotta pick my. I gotta pick my team. Up to third mission and funny anecdotes. Well, what can I say? Alright? You've all been getting quality content for too long at this point. I've had enough. No more. Speaking of quality content, we finally get to use a laser cannon today, thank god. Alright, I need people who aren't tired. Obviously, um... Oh wow, Burnt Pies is 22 hours out. Evil Soli and Burnt Pies almost get to be on a mission together. Except they don't. Uh, take the skirmisher, yep. And uh, just operators or take some- I should save the rookies. I want to save rookies as much as I can, because when that guerrilla training school eventually gets built, it'll be good to be able to upgrade people to sergeant. Alright, so we'll take all operators, I guess. Wolf, Melissa, and Flanker won't be on this one. Now, I don't believe it's going to show up in here, but we're going to do some magic, trust me. Yeah, don't you worry. Alright, so you got to trust me, it's going to be a surprise. So I'm going to equip the rest of the squad first. I'm going to do some promotions. Uh, you're gunning for me, so on our LMG gunner, I don't know about aggression, we probably just want tax sense. I probably gotta buff hard target up before I actually take it, but I'm gonna go tax sense for Kelly Jelly, gunning. I might take two laser cannons on this one, I think. I think that's what I was saying yesterday too. I want Mag Shorty, plus, where is Mag Shorty, Mag Shorty plus. Um, no nanofiber, please. Leave the nanofiber off for a second. We'll get to that next. I want... I'm gonna have two laser cannons. No sniper. Two laser cannons and no sniper. I want to grab a couple of riflemen. Maybe squaddies. Have I got a, a non-squaddy who could go as a rifleman? That would be good. Corporal, not even breakfast. Not even breakfast. How would you like to try something new for me? Oh, I need a Deadeye as well. Hang on. Have we got a Deadeye? Sister Count's got Deadeye. Okay. Not even breakfast. I want to try something new of you. So I'm going to make you a Rifleman. I'm going to give you Walk Fire. I'm going to give you a Magnetic Rifle. And an XSP. Just give you a standard pistol. 
Commander. And for items. Requesting your attention. Can I perfect. Wait, no. Alright, for items. Apparently I can't do it that way. Let's see if I do it this way. No, I can't do it. Okay. All I need you to know about this soldier is that that's not real C4. Doesn't get to use that. Trust me. Trust! This is a placeholder for equipment that isn't in at the moment in this screen. Hold on. Now who else do I want to run that? Let's bring... T-Goat. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Fake C4, not real. Placeholder. XSP? Two of you should be enough. Spaghetti time's got a promotion. Reflex is pretty. Eh, I, mean, uh, I mean, if you get shot at, you get to shoot another time. Oh, once permission? Fuck you. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be total combat and volatile mix, I think. Sadly, I'm. No, I can get both. I can get both. That's pretty good. Let's do that. So it's gonna be total combat. Granata skill, yeah. Fucking grenade skirmisher. The skirmishers? Is this really what they get to choose from at Corporal? Jesus. Total Combat might work with that thing. Maybe, but I'm not gonna try it, Iridar. Not yet. Uh, let's go Volatile Grenades. Bring me some grenades, Spaghetti Time. I don't usually get to use grenades. Let's just go double grenades on Spaghetti Time. As much as I really want to bring a nanofiber vest on you. Let's, uh, let's make you a Grenadier Spaghetti Time. So you got five. Yeah, do you have eight natural? Eight natural half. That, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty tough. You're pretty tough, Skirmisher. Evil Soli. You got Grazing Fire as well. I'm gonna get Texans on you too. And Evil Soli, I'm gonna run another cannon on you as well. So we're gonna run two, two mag cannons. And two mag shorties. Med kit. I don't want smokes on the, the cannoneers. I learned that last time. Maybe nano scale vest would be good on you. I don't know. Or maybe just a bunch of med kits. Maybe battle scanner. Uh, I really need to be able to get more. Can I buy more nano fibers? Oh, you didn't see that. Oh, it's a surprise. You didn't see that yet. <laughs> No, no, you didn't see anything! <laughs> I'm just picking my inventory here! Yellow boy says I didn't actually see it. There's nothing to see! Nothing to see if anyone saw anything, there's nothing to see! <laughs> patience, patience. Um, who do we want to, what do we want to put on the second gunner? These are the important questions we have to actually ask. Pay attention, everyone. If I'm not putting the nanoscale on... If I'm not putting the nanoscale on the skirmisher, I'm putting it on the sh one on the shotgunner. Am I gonna have an SMG? I guess I'll still have an SMG. Okay, just bring two medkits in, I guess. So let's put the battle scanner on Kelly Jelly and two medkits on you, Evil Soli. We just gotta make sure you don't get too fucked up. Boom, boom. Have we got any more promotions? That's all good. Manball, you're quite good at the SMG, so I think I might give it to you. You're quite handy with it. Where is... There's the McTav. There's that McTav. And take the combat knife. And we don't have room for a nanofiber vest for you. Wait, do we? Oh yeah, because they have an SMG, yeah. 
So we're gonna give you a nanofiber vest. There's a cover-up in chat right now. It's unbelievable. Sisukan also needs a ceramic. I love calling them just all sorts of different things. Now it's a ceramic. I mean, XSP. There's no loss on this mission, so that's fine. Shard gun, yep, yep. Fiber blade. I've got two nothing to see here soldiers. And I think the last person is Psych Peter. I seem to have a crippling lack of flashbangs. Which I need to make up for. Because you're not bringing any Ivory Skirmisher. Let's put a mag rifle on you. XSP. Flashbang and a med kit. That's one, two, three, four, five med kits. I need more flashbangs, hey. So someone's gonna bring more flashbangs for me. Ideally, not a gunner. But beggars can't be choosers when I'm bringing new equipment. Maybe I'll bring a flashbang on you. Because the flashbang still does two... Does the flashbang still do plus two grenade with volatile mix? I think so. I think the flashbang will just do damage. So that's one, two... I'd like a third flashbang, if I could please have a third flashbang. So we're going to trade one, two, three, four, five... If we can trade one of these medkits... For a flashbang, that'd be handy. I really don't want to put it on the gunners, because the gunners are suppressing, which goes hand in hand with flashbangs, but I might have to. Because otherwise I don't have enough people with medkits to run around and heal people. Which is frightening, and not something I want to do. Or I just only take two flashbangs, but that seems like a bad idea. I think I'll just have to put it on Evil Soli. Did I put on Evil Soli? No, I'm stupid. There we go. Cover item from Advent Vehicle. Um, we're not going to be able to bring any actual breaching charges either. This is the pain of bringing AP rounds. Well, actually, Everything by the with that other thing, maybe I don't need AP rounds on you. Maybe I could bring that on you. Let's bring one set of C4 on you instead of the AP rounds. I'm sure I won't get punished for that. I'm sure that will be fine. You know what, Beagle? That's a terrible idea. Bring the AP rounds. We'll think about how to fit in that later. Alright. Check my equipment here. Oh, but Beagle, the breaching charges, you just got them. Come on. Be fun. Ah. Be fun, Beagle. Bring the breaching charges. Alright, let's check the equipment here. Carpenting bullpup. That's the laser one, right? Yep. Thank you, mods, for your great work in chat. Grenades, frags. Oh, excuse me. Do, 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 do. Grenades, frags. Uh, Ripjack. Mag rifle, mag rifle. Pistol, pistol. Secret. Flashbang. Medkits. Let's have Viper Blade. Ceramic C4. Shotgun, pistol, ceramic medkits. Need a lot of medkits. No medic class that brings multiples. Mag cannon. Mag shorty. Du, du. Yep, yep. Secret. It's a secret. No one knows what it is. Okay. I think we're good to go. As long as this works. There, I click the button. Now, I wanted to start late because someone, it will be revealed soon, offered very heroically to forego sleep and the joys of life to try and make something ready in time for today's stream. And I said, you know what? You know what? You're insane, and I normally wouldn't, but I like the moxie. So we're going to try it. And they were saying, hey, maybe, maybe just start because I don't know if I have it ready in time. And I said, no, it's all right. I'm gonna wait. That's my choice. I'm gonna wait. And if it works, glory. And if it doesn't, I want you to remember something. What you might be about to see 
is a leap a long time coming in XCOM 2 modding. Something that has not existed and has needed to exist for eons since Time of Mirror Memorial. The Memorial. And we must sacrifice our comfort for progress sometimes. Sometimes we must make sacrifices to push the envelope of XCOM 2's modding. And it is my privilege to sacrifice a little of my start time to try, just to try for a chance that this could work live with very little testing. Remote reconnaissance has picked a small amount of balance consideration and almost no technical checks to see if it will just crash everything. Just slamming it straight in. I'm going straight in. Take out any hostile forces protecting the vehicle. Secure the AO and recover the assets. I might have overhyped it at this point. It's just a new piece of equipment. But I think it's one of the greatest things ever added to the XCOM 2 workshop. Menace one five. We've got I backed a up my save. Advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to distance. I haven't overhyped it to myself, but I just realized not everyone has the same taste as me. Now you've all gotta close your eyes. Because I've gotta do some magic to make it show up because it's uh Close your close your eyes for a second. Don't look. Listen to the sounds. Don't look! I see you peeking, don't look! The game looks better like this? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Okay, we just gotta go over to here. Uh-huh. And we just gotta add it to here. <gasps> oh, it didn't crash! Oh, it's working! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I just said just, just for the other guy. What's the noise? I have to use the console to add it. Because we're we're moving mountains to get this to work in time for today. And so to do so, that's why I couldn't put it on in the armory. But instead. <laughs> Yes! It's working! I think it's working! At a 1.88 tile scatter at maximum range! Yes! Alright. The campaign needed this. We needed this. We needed these. We needed an anti-tank option. This is the AT-4 Disposable Rocket Launcher. First iteration, first edition. The radius is too tiny. This is not your dad's Long War style rocket launchers. High damage, low radius. We've been running into a lot of mechs and shit. A lot of mutons, a lot of shit with too much armor. Now I've been thinking, I don't want to add, I don't want to lower their armor, and I don't want to add Shred. I don't want to add Shred to the game. If I can help it. They're not meant to be pod deleters, that's right. It's not meant to be long war style, it's meant to be single units. Remember of this radius? The radius might come down, but remember of this radius? This is with explosives fall off. If you hit pinpoint in the middle, it can do that much damage listed. If it doesn't hit pinpoint in the middle... We'll see. That's why the damage is so high. It was lower and then I tested it very quickly, and it would hit on the edge and would do very little damage. So we'll see. Alright. Now we actually have a mission here to do. Before we do, thank you very much to the, the efforts of Iridar and E3245, who have worked tirelessly to bring us this. This is only the smallest taste. Only the tip of the iceberg of something bigger that's coming, but we'll see if this works for us for now. Now, enough about that. We do have the mission to get into before we can use this thing. So, we need to get to this van. We need to not blow it up with an AT4. We need to open this door and get that. 
Do not blow up the van. Do not ever. No, I'm not blowing up the van. I'm trying to think very hard about where I want to go here. We've got 22 enemies to face, so that's probably going to be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So probably four pods. Like three pods are. Two pods are six and two pods are five, maybe. Is Rat Boy going to show up? Where is a good cover? The timers don't start until we activate here. So we should really find which of these buildings is the better one to fight from first, and just move to that and start scouting. Or, how big is the map? I could do my classic strat with no timers of just spreading out on both sides, trying to get an eye on all the pods. Alright. Let's send... If we go to the left. Closing on target position Let's try now. very hard not to get revealed here before we're ready. Bring the skirmish to the center. Let's have the rockets in the center. Moving to designated position. Uh, mag cannon up front. Closing on target position now. Uh, let's put a shotgun. Who do we want to scout on the right? Where's the SMG? Let's send manball on the right a bit. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Be fine if it's there, I think. Uh, shotgun up the middle. Shotgun up the middle. Let's. We never scout on the left, though. So I need the shotgun to scout on the left, actually. Moving. I need another mag cannon eventually on this spot, but not yet. Not until we've cleared that building. So I'm gonna bring you here for now. Moving out. And you have a rocket here for now. Rolling. All right. Overwatch. 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 On Overwatch. This is all very untested and new for me. Which usually, I mean, it's a terrible idea to rush things in like that, but, uh, you know, live a little. Like I keep saying, I really like the idea of extreme sports QA testing. But I'm worried now when I hit the Overwatch button, like, things are just gonna explode. Like, he's just gonna fire his rocket. <laughs> uh, let's get to the left over here through the car. Oh! They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. It's that time already. I'm glad I I'm glad I put these on for this mission. This is a good thing to have added for this mission. <laughs> okay, so it's like that, is it? Well, you're not exactly armored, but you'll do. If we hit you. I was just thinking about using this on mechs and mutons. I don't know how it's going to go against a berserker. That's a lot of health. Okay, well, we've got that pod on the left. I'd like to pull back from that pod, actually. Um, because, honestly, I would like to <laughs> not fight that berserker. <laughs> not yet. Not until I get plated armor. I ideally, I would like to just, just leave that pod. And just sneak around to the objective and never fight them. Let's get out to the right. Good copy. Moving on target. Uh, maybe go on the roof. Don't go on the roof just yet. Just keep crossing over to the right. Moving to designated position. So we're going to come to the right. We've scouted what's on the right. Thank you very much. It's good that we know that now. And we're going to leave the right now. No need to ask twice. Great to know. And I'm going to go in the other direction. Not fight that pod, but it says neutralize all enemy targets. Uh, we do have the ability with this mod set to retreat after doing the objective. We just haven't. We just haven't had a situation where we were really able to do that yet. Good copy. Moving or needed to. We do have that uh, resistance guerrilla war style uh, on. We just haven't used it yet. It just hasn't been a thing. As you command. Move you up, manball. Heading there now. Everything by the numbers. So we could potentially just do the objective and get out. On the move. Neutralize all enemy targets as an objective. Well, I don't know. 
I think it says that on all of the missions, honestly. Please don't let that plug come move. towards me. Oh god! Why is it moving so far? <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> is there a downside to doing so? Uh, I'm not sure of this one. I don't think so. Honestly, I haven't tested if it's OP or not yet. Because we just haven't... In a, uh, you know, in 13 or 14 missions, we just haven't used it yet. So I haven't been able to make that choice yet. I wanted to test it and then find out. Everything by the numbers. Ideally, we'd use uh, the old Resistance Gorilla War mod. Um, the Gorilla mod, War mod where... It's uh, the the trade-off is constant reinforcements, but uh, that mod isn't updated for War of the Chosen, sadly. I want to get up to this doorway, so let's start moving up. Don't go through the window. Do not go through the fucking window. Come over to here. Um. Yeah, just get away from that pod. Keep coming. Position confirmed. Let's move that SMG up. Moving to designated position. Move you up, laser cannon. Will do. If they keep coming on the left, we've got to be careful we don't put ourselves in like a, a self L shape, if that makes sense. We don't volunteer ourselves into an L shaped ambush. Here. Come on, shard gun. Solid copy. Come on, rocket man. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Location confirmed. Come on, skirmisher. And lucky last. Come on, psych Peter. Get out of there. Ten four. Overwatch. Chip right, on the right. We gotta watch that highway. The highway is really dangerous. And also useful. Like, if we go on the highway, that's good. We probably wanna control both. We probably wanna have, like, people set up in low ground on the right. And then, like, flankers up on the highway that jump down. Because you got to be careful. Because the sound, of, the sound of gunfire will draw this pod. They'll come up behind us. you got to berserk around the highway. You don't want that. So, whatever... Whoever's up here on the high ground, if, the, if we do use the high ground, is going to want to get off it very quickly. Let's move you up to here. Heading out. I hear a sectoid close, too. I'm not sure where, but I swear I hear them. Let's get that door open. Correct. The highway is the danger zone. That's right. Uh, I think I move up to there as well. Let's just move up to check people slowly. Affirmative. Moving out. All right. Dope. Let's keep everyone moving up. That's a fine spot for you to go. That's affirmative. Keep going, my friendos. Wait, did I just see a alien? Cheats? Cheats? I'm all over it. Cheats? Ooh, there's an advent. Oh shit, is that? Fuck, they've got advanced troopers now. No more five health weenies to bully. What a shame. I move. I like to bully. Give me a shotgun. Copy that. And let's go. That's like Peter. Stepping off. You might notice I'm moving very carefully and deliberately here. That's because um, recovery missions scare me, and berserkers scare me. And with these two powers combined, I'm being very deliberate about my clicks. Because if you click the wrong place in a mission like this, you accidentally jump through one window, or you accidentally run into one civilian. Oh fuck! Oh shit, what the hell? 
Got some hostiles grouped over here. Oh god, why are there berserkers in every pod? That's not right. QA testing is an extreme sport. Here we go. That doesn't look right. <laughs> There's this option in uh, in the, the configurable purple pod sizes mod that's like, okay, do you want to make it so um, alien... Because by default, aliens to lead pods can only have advent soldiers as their friends it can only be like one alien per pod and there's an option it's like oh do you want to turn that off and just have it be like aliens can have aliens as followers randomly i'm like oh yeah like i, I guess sure i'll just click that on and then uh oh, I, I guess that's a pod <laughs> i guess that's the effect of that option that little checkbox who would have thought one little checkbox could cause so much trouble I wonder if I should turn that checkbox off. That might not be... <laughs> I'm not sure if four berserkers on a gorilla op is good at this point in the campaign. Um, this is a bit fucked. But it looks like we're gonna have to fight pods. We're probably gonna have to pack up and fight from one end to the other. I don't think we can smash and grab the, uh, the objective safely. Leave it on. I'll tell you what. I'll leave that option on. And I'll only think about changing it in between runs. If in the big iteration. I'll leave it on for now. Alright, I'm really not going to want to waste the AT4s on Berserkers then. Now how much, how much meat is that? What would a cyclic fire do to those Berserkers? A laser cannon does 5 to 7. Do they have defense? They wouldn't have defense, surely. No defense. No defense. Okay. So, cyclic fire. If only two of them... I mean, you're looking at a lot of damage there. You can melt these things down. They don't use cover. Don't be too scared, because they don't use cover. Easy targets. We've got two laser cannons. We can probably just... These guys down. We can probably just chew them up. Yeah, two cyclics, you could kill one in one round. These laser cannons are powerful. It's fine. It's all fine. We're gonna go back. Uh, we're gonna probably just fight from the start. I've scouted the map. Very good. Thank you. Good to see. I'm leaving. <laughs> Thank you for this intelligence. I'm going away. Uh, and we're going to... Yeah, we're going to not be here. Good copy. Moving on target. Yeah, suddenly this one berserker pod doesn't look as scary. That's exactly right. Suddenly this is a bit... This is fine. This pod this is no problem. So we're gonna go back now. And we're going to be very careful not to break concealment. Because that would be embarrassing. Oh god, like that. <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. Let's not break concealment. No need to ask twice. Is this mission timed for the stealth break? Yes. It's just a sit rep for this specific mission. It said that the timers will not start until we break concealment. Alright, come here, shot. Shotgunner, maybe put everyone on the roof? Nah. Come down here, shotgunner. Let's move everyone else first. Everyone else depends more on being in position. Um, I'll get you inside, Rocketeer. Copy that. Bring you upstairs. Got it, moving. Just do not break concealment. Listen to you over here. I'm all over it. And let's close the door with you when we're done. Running. Oh, you could have closed the door. Okay, you close the door. Moving there. Kevin says, I preferred playing with timers that don't start until you break consumer anyway. To me, it was like you got to personally micromanage the last few turns of your infiltration before you kick things off. See, I agree with that, and I have played mod sets like that. Uh, the only thing you really have to watch out for with a setup like yeah, that is, you know, missions can already take quite a long time. 
And they can take even longer of a setup like that, of course. That's the only thing I think you really have to watch out for. Is that can be a that can be a real downside. Uh, is missions can take a long ass time if you uh, never have to start. Like for example, you know we're adding an extra five to ten minutes here. Me coming backwards. Ooh, they're probably gonna activate me on this turn, aren't they? Ooh, shit. Ooh, fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. God, I'm rocketing that. I should save the rockets for the other pods. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. I think I can run from that. I think you're allowed to run from full cover with the peak from concealment mod. Oh, bugger. I think I can run from that. I think, but, but what? But what's it gonna do? I'm just gonna back into a corner. I mean, they're pretty close together. I could rocket them, but then I've got to cyclic fire that one. Oh Jesus Christ! Please, please. I mean, there's a mech and a berserker right there. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Gr maybe don't rocket a grenade. Ah. Uh... It's only five to six, no. Yeah, rocket accuracy goes in if you move. I reckon we, we might just start this off. Who can see the other pod? Can we just not activate that pod this turn, possibly? If I move people? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Rocket. If it doesn't scatter too bad, at least the mech or the berserker probably dies. Maybe some troopers. They're all bunched up. It probably t they're pretty clustered. It probably takes out some troopers. Uh, I can cyclic fire the berserkers down. I really should. I really should have just fought the first pod when I had the chance. Or. I think with Pikachu Consumer, I can move back, but then it just... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could go... Fucking do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. We all came here to see the rockets. Let's do the rockets. Alright. Now, not even breakfast. This mod is untested, so if it crashes, it's your fault. Do you understand? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Fire the AT4! <laughs> the mech is down. Good. We've been spotted. And the berserker is pissed. That's one small s action for not even breakfast. One giant leap for XCOM kind. Alright, it's a small pod. It's a four pod. Lancer, Sectoid, Berser Just kill that Berserker. Kill this Berserker. It's all- Oh god, the mag cannon's there. Okay. It's all gonna be fine. I just gotta kill this Berserker. 11 damage on the Berserker. All the troopers are fine. And the mech is down. Good job. I need you to die. Where is my uh, mag cannon? Where's my other mag cannon? On the roof. You're going to spray that berserker, I think. All right. I reckon we do that. Well, let's kill this one first, okay? Let's kill this one over here first. Ah, shit. I really want to go there to shoot with you. Let's go there to shoot with you. Because worst case if I can kill that trooper. Uh, uh. Let's go there to shoot with you. Shoot. Can anybody else shoot you by the way? I should have checked. Oh god, the fucking wall. Oh god, it went through the wall. Um, oh no, you're on fire. <laughs> oh no, you're on fire.
you're on fire. I am on fire! Uh, I reckon we bring the Deadeye over here to shoot this Berserker. Do you guys have grenades yet? Fuck, all the troopers have grenades now too, so you really don't want to cluster too much if you can help it. That said, I can't really help it in this instance, I don't think. Yeah, it's not AT4 CQB. That's right, it's not the close quarters variant. Let's have a look, because I'm having trouble understanding this turn right now, so let's have a look. One, two... Okay, on this Berserker on the left, I have one, two, three, four options. Okay, the one on the right, I have one... I have another rocket, too. Two... I got a shotgun this one, I think. I think I gotta cyclic fire this one on the right first, too, just to see. I'm gonna cyclic fire this one on the right just to see what happens. Yeah, I know the skirmisher is flanked. Light it up! That's good damage. If we didn't have Laz cannons, I don't think we could do this mission. But with Laz cannons, I think we can spray him down. Predator style. Now that one's just a couple of laser rifle shots away. Now I can dead eye this one. I think. Yeah, now I can dead eye this one. I know I shouldn't cluster, but I really want to get make sure that dead eye hits. What's your chances to hit? I think with weapon range it'll probably be okay. That's a plus twenty. How much does dead eye take off of you? Ooh. Maybe not. I think I got a cluster. I got a cluster. <sighs> What's your thing? Fear of missed shots. Don't worry, you're not gonna miss. Heading out. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Nice crit. Thank you. Can I get an area suppression anywhere? I think all we're going to accomplish this turn is the, skirm uh, the Berserkers are going to be dead. But we might lose people. I've got no smokes. I'm going to get some flashbangs out. The Skirmisher can... You can't justice? Tyler's, Tyler's blocked. What? Oh, you can't... You can't pull to them because there's no Tyler pull to. That fucking sucks. I really want to justice you. Maybe I'll run down to here and justice you. Can you do a flank over here? Yes! Yes, we can do a flank, but it exposes me as well. Though, it doesn't expose me too much, because... Hmm. Probably better to just use you to finish off both the Berserkers, though, and then reposition of everyone else. Or finish off one of them, anyway. I'm gonna use someone else to finish off the other. I'm gonna use this Rocketeer to finish off the other. Who else can finish off that... Rapid Fire could, but you're actually, like, on fire. Still, I mean, the burning won't happen until next turn, so... It's probably fine. I can move you back to here and shoot him. You probably get him. That's right, he's rapidly on fire, it's fine. Rapid set yourself on fire, exactly. You're gonna move from there anyway because that wall's gonna go and you're in half cover. So I'd probably come back to here. I'd rapidly set yourself on fire. Oh, you can't rapid fire when you're on fire. I mean, I guess that's fair. I'm not gonna complain. That, that's pretty fair, I guess. <laughs> I can't complain about that. Could you possibly heal him? Make it to two-tower range, right? Possibly, but you could also just shoot. Hmm. Interesting question there. If I only have you, can I still kill them both? I think so, yes. It should be fine. So you come over and you try Ready to heal. Out. Yes! Kind of a waste of a medkit, but... Get I need you to not be on man. fire. Make it is not too tall range unless you change that. I didn't change it, but it seems to... I don't know. That's the magic of this campaign. I don't even know half the shit. 
I just put a bunch of mods on. Uh, only 62% to hit twice there. But I'll take it. Good damage. One more, one more. Nice job, manball. Alright, Berserkers are down. That's what we want to see. My poor high grounders are just not in cover. Which I am very sorry for. Can I flash a couple people here? That could be, yeah, it could be critical, I think. Do a bit of flashing. Is that Lancer just gonna... Yeah, he's probably just gonna flank me. Ah, oh, he's just gonna flank me. Maybe that hole in the wall will prevent him from... No, he's just gonna flank me. I gotta deal with him. Maybe you can suppress him. And that'll be... Most of them dealt with. That'll be you suppressed. You two will be flashed. I can try and justice one of you. Okay. So I'm gonna finish you off. Screw you! You got a flashbang too, so that's good. So bring yourself down to here. I move. Let's see what your options are. Alright, no berserkers are currently gonna pound my ass this turn. That's good. You've got a double flash here. Or you could justice for 66. Decisions, decisions. If you flashbang, I've got two suppressions. And then it's less likely this... Well, this guy can't flank me anyway, so that's fine. So I probably suppress the far guy who is going to be fucked if he stays in that cover next turn. Time to test if flashbang does damage a volatile mix? Yeah, maybe. I'm going through a lot of my consumables very early here is the only problem. But yeah, I think it's a better call than the justice for you to do the flashbang. You to suppress someone, you to suppress someone. Alright, so let's see this. Flash you two. Everything by the number. This is the first second mission? First mission. We started late. I'm gonna go a little bit later today as well, to make up for starting a bit later. Probably an hour or so later. So I only rub you of an hour today. What can I say? I love to scam, but I try to keep the scams fair. I didn't do any damage, but they're both flashbang. That's what we want. Probably gonna take a shot at Will Lancer and then suppress him. A sh Hitting a shot here would be really good because then he'll be more scared to run the suppression. So we really want to try and hit this shot. Ah, I'm worried he's just gonna run the suppression, but say la vie at this point. Advent seems very happy to run the suppression in this. Kind of worries me that he's gonna. Uh. Should I pull back Psych Peter? I think I need to, because otherwise I think this Lancer- Wait, that Lancer could fucking flank everyone, actually. Shit. Maybe I double suppress the Lancer instead. There's no one good to retreat to anyway. I think I just gotta double suppress the Lancer. Alright, those fuckers on the roof are in You're danger. Ah! Right on schedule. No! Rat boy! I appreciate that. I think I should call an evac in, maybe. This might be a good time to evac. The pain if that if ever pod hits my right flank this turn. We need to get to their location to take them out. Oh, hang in there. Good job. Incoming! Over here! See, yeah, exactly. Red Boy knows him on time. Thank you, Red Boy. <laughs> they might seem mindless, but they still hit pretty hard, right? Oh, evac! Evac now! 
Two berserkers. I don't know what that is over there. Oh, Jesus. We need evac. Ah! Oh my god, you can do that? Holy shit. Yellow alert's fucking scary. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, real bad, real bad, real bad. Uh, really bad. They're all over me. Hey, that's a mic controlled one. They won't hold up long at this rate, Commander. No, they really won't. It's too easy on me. Okay. We need a flash or someone to deal with that sectoid because we need the, the laser cannon back. Another Berserker back there that can't engage this turn. One that very much can. My flank is falling apart. Where do we call the evac? I reckon we gotta fight through and put it like around here, but maybe we just hold the building for as long as we can. Maybe like right here. How much Overwatch am I facing? One guy. How are we gonna get rid of that sectoid? I gotta move you and get... That flashbang off against the sectoid. Or... Where's the skirmisher? The skirmisher already used it. I need that gunner back on my team. Evil Soul, he's got a flashbang. Good. You reckon you can throw it through there? Also, how are we gonna kill the... Oh, don't even think about that yet. We'll get to that next. Ooh, that next campaign. See, that I'm smart. If I lose this mission and I end up losing the campaign in a couple of days, I can iterate... I can iterate away the multiple aliens per pod thing without breaking my promise, not do it unless it's between campaigns. I'm smart. Yeah, I think I gotta go to- but then the fucking Faceless and maybe the Berserker hits you. Oh, fuck. Never should've come here. Let's look at this a different way. What if I get rid of that Overwatch and I run Psych Peter up for the Flashbang? Maybe that could work. Maybe we go really hard here. Really, really hard. How else can I clear this overwatch? Can't use the rocket for that. You back on the highway and spin your eyes off? I don't think that's the answer. I could just run it. I mean, I do have the option of 84 in the sectoid, but I really want to save that for <laughs> all this shit. Yeah, I agree with Jabor, who says you. That's what I've been thinking. I've really got to go hard on the left to to fix this up. I need to like kill two or three troopers on the left and reorient myself or I'm gonna die before evac gets here. Evac will never get here in time. Is there a way you can get there without... Mm, nope. Wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it. Hang on. Do I got it? I don't got it. Hang on. I had it, then I don't have it. Someone had a flank there. You have the flank, but I can't get there without activating the overwatch. Let's look inside instead. Mm, you can't get to that position. However... I can move the... No, I need that rocket alive. Oh, choices, man. Choices. Manball could come to here and rapid fire that guy. But that leap throws away a good chance to flank this guy, too. Maybe I just need to... Maybe I just need to tank the Overwatch. As crazy as that sounds. Maybe I just need to tank it.
fuck, but if it hits you, you're not gonna be able to tank this guy. Fuck. But to flank you, he's gotta move to... I think I just have to tank the Overwatch. I think spending any resources to get rid of that Overwatch spends too many resources. I need to just take the chance that he doesn't hit. Then you've got to move up to here. You flashbang the Sector and the Lancer. Everyone else just has to burn down this Berserker this turn. And then we kill whatever troopers we can of the rest. Spaghetti time? Uh, we're going to see how long your, your career in XCOM lasts right now. Although, look at it this way. If Spaghetti time doesn't move... Spaghetti time can injustice you. Mm. Fuck it. Manball, you've got to do it. Manball, you've got to do it. Come here, Manball. You're going to do it for me. You're going to be a fucking hero. You're going to run that Overwatch. Let's go. Okay, I'll go. Hit or miss. Looks like you rolled the dice and lost this time. I guess they never miss, huh? Alright, the Overwatch is gone now. Now we get the gunner back. I'm on it. Fucking hunter, shut up. A couple of flashbangs over here. Better close your eyes. Rad boy is the bane of my campaign with his witty. His witty crap. Can I put a good cyclic fire on anyone? Anybody want to get cyclic fired? Why is he not evacuating? I am gonna, I am gonna, I should call it now just so we're all on the same page. Oh, you need AP to call the action, the Sky Ranger? That's weird. Are you sure about that? Are we sure about that? I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost AP to call it. Um, where do I want to put the evac? I reckon, like, maybe around here. In the back, in the alley. Oh, I get half of it inside the building, yeah. I reckon in the back, near just heavy cover. least chance of being flanked and fucked and we'll fall backwards towards the store itself and we want to get inside the store as much as possible except for these brave heroes who are basically dead to get that flashbang off but we're gonna see how many we can get out here i'm gonna call the evac right there i think yeah I'll do it there this is firebrand. Evac request and we've got to hold on for a few turns so we're fighting no matter what, it's just a case of for how long. You've got to move. I'm going to fall you back. I've got another flashbang here on the gunner. I can flashbang more enemies. I can flashbang the Purifier, the Berserker, the Lancer. Uh, this turn. Hey, Sivvy, how you doing? You came to the... I was going to say you came to the wrong neighborhood. I guess you run this place. You opened up a shop in the wrong fucking neighborhood. Please, just take the candy and go! Maybe if I flashbang over here and then shoot that Berserker, I can make it kill them too. Because Berserkers can enrage too. We're gonna kill this Berserker first. Let's work on killing this Berserker now. So, Shotgunner has to come down. Oh. You can't let yourself get flanked through there for that window. Let's shoot it with who we can first, then we'll worry about shooting it with who we can't. I'm gonna bring you back. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you one first, I guess. And I'll move you back. God, that's scary. Run! I'm going. The, the skirmisher might just have to go all out on the berserker, I think. We just don't have a lot of shots against the fucker. 
Not without exposing myself horribly. Do you have a med kit? Nope. Do you have a med kit? Yes. I think you gotta heal the shotgun. The shotgun is gonna take this spot down here. Or if we could justice that guy or keep him pinned on the left. It's probably the safer option, actually. The safer play. But you need to heal yourself as well, unless you're not going to shoot anyone. So you're going to jump down. You're going to jump down, Sisikon. On my way. We'll worry about healing later. Because someone's going to die if that Berserker isn't dead now. Crits! Oh, ho, ho. Toot, toot. It's mad. Who's mad? It's mad. Oh, I forgot I had a sawn off. I could have both barrels it. We'll save the both barrels for the next one. Both barrels for you, you bastard. Right, you might be able to finish it off, I think. Close that damn window over there. Good job. Another Berserker down. Hold the line! Hold it, I said! That frees up this gunner to, like I was saying, probably come over here, open the door, and flashbang. Probably, because these guys are going to come, they're, they're going to flank that window otherwise, and then you're going to get fucked up. So we're going to keep them from doing that somehow. I do need to start getting rid of motherfuckers over here. Especially this guy. So let's give him a little toot toot. Can you get a flank? Not yet. Let's give him a little toot toot. Or a little, or a little scroot scroot. Newt newt. Oh, I can give him a newt newt. And I could justice someone else. Might blow his cover up. I don't think. I don't think it's any more likely to blow his cover up. Probably justice him. Justice to be safe. Oh, but I can kill another trooper though. Can anyone else follow up the nade, even if it works? Yeah. If I move you down to here, you could. Yeah. Fuck it, let's do it. Total combat. Explosive out. Cover is not gone. That's a shame. Save before the justice. It's Iron Man, you fool! What stream do you think you're on? <laughs> Streamer just saved scum! <laughs> it's fine, Streamer just saved scum! I w oh, it'd be much easier, yes, I agree. <laughs> uh, but you can't follow up. in case of crash. Oh, right. Because of the justice. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Because justice crashed our game yesterday. Ah, uh, fuck. There's nothing you can do about that. Unless I save and exit and load up again. We just have to play the turn again. Which I'm, I don't really want to do because this turn's going well for me. As well as it can. <sighs> What's the chance to hit here? 77. If you move down, it's going to be... No. Nah. Nah, you tried the, the grenade trick, it failed. It's time to just justice him now. I hope it works. Chucks away! Ah, shit! It doesn't crash when it fails, don't worry. Brr. Uh, everything's going wrong. You gotta come Order down. Confirmed. On the move. Justice is blind. Shut up. 75 to hit, they reckon. 
It's pretty good odds. Ah! Miss the target. Hey Jake, you want to crash the game now? I'd be open to it. Fug. Who is he gonna flank? He cannot take a position that flanks me out being flanked himself. However, he might go for it because he's a crazy little advent trooper. I think Manball really needs to hunker. So I wanted to come over here and flashbang, but I'm probably gonna have to just. I can't though, man. I got a flashbang on multiple people will die. But I really wanna suppress this guy. But there's nowhere even to move to suppress him from. Oh, wait, there we go. On the half cover. What do you think? Is it better to suppress this guy? Or run over here and flashbang? I really needed that guy to die this turn. I think the bang's probably better. I think I need to get the flashbang over here. To have any hope of surviving. But then can't you probably get shot through the door? Yeah, but they'll be flashbanged. It's better than them running up to the window and doing that, I think. I think, anyway. I don't know. This is a hard situation. A hard mission, as they all are. Okay, so you come over to here. Affirmative. And somewhat unintuitively... Yep, they're leaving their store. They're going on the roof. In a way that seems rather unintuitive, we're going to open this door. Oh, wait, there's a fucking faceless over here, isn't there? This was the wrong move. Oh, the big wrong move. Thank you for your service, Evil Sully. This was definitely the wrong move. I forgot about the container faceless. That I cannot flashbang with the rest of them. He is going to destroy my cover. I'm not worried about the damage, it's the cover destroying that's going to fuck me over here. Sully's probably going to die. Alright, but I gotta do it anyway. Flashbang. Flashbang! A lot of people are about to die. Maybe I just take shots right now. Instead of bothering to hunker. I mean, Mandel's probably gonna die this turn no matter what happens. Because if it's not Manball, it's going to be Psych Peter. So I'm probably going to take the shots I have. And understand that this mission, which I understood a while ago, is not going to be the, the everybody wins scenario. This is the no win scenario we're in right now. The, the objective isn't to prevent any deaths, it's to prevent as, as many deaths as possible. And to do that, we need to clear our left flank. There's some hard charging work over here. Good. Ah! <laughs> Adjusting sights. We only need the commander alive. It's open season on the rest. He's not flanking. Oh shit! God damn motherfucker! Ah! My body fails. I was hoping I'd at least get a laugh out of this. I forgot they all have grenades. Die well, everyone. If you are going to die, strive to make your death meaningful. And useful. Whoa. Another pod? You shouldn't have. Hello. Fuck. By opening the door, I gave the Viper that flank. It was completely the wrong move. Did you, Commander? And our other rocket is down now. This is going to be a desperate evac if anyone survives. You humans are awfully delicate. Could you ever last this long? Hold on, little buddies. I'm being flanked. Okay. 
God, I hate that wall shit. Hang in there, everyone else. I'm under fire. Hang in there. Oh, shit. Hey, a purifier hits someone. People have been asking about that. Here by popular demand. Oh, fuck! It's at this point I need to check if I have something installed or not. Did I put it on? I did. Okay, that's interesting. Was this a light? No, this was 22. There was quite a lot of enemies on this mission. You gotta keep holding to that evac though. We can't fall back yet or we'll be overwhelmed. The evac is not ready yet, so people need to hold for as long as they can. That's all- that's the only choice we have. You just have to keep holding. I'm not sure how long it is. I think it's one or two turns more. But we don't have any other choice. Someone should grab that body. And get it out of there. If we can afford. I, I wish you could pick up the rockets off their body. I know what I'd be doing this turn. What's the go here? We probably need to stop the melee enemies from overwhelming us on the right. If I can. Who's suppressed? Suppressed. Suffering minus 30 penalty to aim will be shot up attempting to move you. You're suppressed. You can probably just hold your ground and... No, you haven't got a heal. We should still gotta kill that fucker. I got shots on the faceless. The faceless does really need to go down because even more than the berserker, it'll destroy everyone's cover. Who's gonna kill the faceless with you? Probably... Ugh. You probably just gotta hold, hope that wall doesn't fall apart, heal yourself, and just shoot it. Both barrels? No, they're on the fucking ground. We don't have any both barrels left, do we? We got one- we got one gunner of both barrels. But we can't use them. Yeah, I think you gotta hold your ground. Shotgunner! Heal up! Settle down, you're fine! Take a shoot! Not great damage. Not really what I want to see. We hate to see that. Might end up grazing fire in the purifier. I gotta heal myself, I can't afford the grazing fire. Who can you shoot? Got another mech coming in, Jesus. It's gonna start falling inside of you. And not even breakfast, you need to get your ass hunkering down as well. If I go and grab you this turn and get back to here, I might be able to get you both out. Probably my only turn I get that chance. You're gonna hunker. You've gotta heal yourself, so you can't move. So I think the skirmisher has a take on you. Roll good. Or well, you're fired. Really not what I wanted. Wait, had you already shot once? Oh, that's right, it was the shotgunner. Okay, just finish him off then, I guess. Hmm, you could just kill that viper right now, which is flanking everyone, not even breakfast. You could get him. But then the berserker is probably gonna pound your ass. Uh, 
Is it Fubar or just Snafu? Uh, it's Fubar. This is a Fubar situation for sure. I think you gotta heal yourself and just shoot that guy. Kelly Jelly. Shelf healed. Settle down, you fine. We've gotta clear one of these angles. One of them at least. Come on! Come on! Gotta do better. Ratboy's on fucking Overwatch in the fog. I don't know if he's gonna be able to see this maneuver here, but like I said, it is, it is probably my only chance to get the body. I also said that we need to die well. If I hit both my rifles here, I could kill this Viper and make the situation far less deadly. Why should we have dodge? I didn't do that. That's not me. They're advanced. The Viper probably dodge it. I'm probably just going to assume that the line of sight is too insane for Ratboy to get Overwatch through. Kill yourself. You'll be fine. Kill yourself and probably hunker. Oh my god, that purifier. Probably don't even bother hunkering. You're probably just gonna shoot. You gotta hunker though because you're suppressed. You're fucking. But you you could still live, Psych Peter. But I think you gotta shoot that purifier, Psych Peter. Or you gotta fall back inside. But there's no really good for you to fall to, so. Probably just shoot. Probably just shoot the purifier. Shit. Useless. Adjusting aim. They'll fry you if you're wrong. One. Two. Why is that flank but that isn't? One, two. One, two, three, four. Pick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might be able to make it. Might be able to make it back. What's your movement? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're probably not going to be able to get back into cover with him. So you're probably better off just taking the, the shots. I don't think you can get Evil Soli. I don't think we can get them. I think they're stuck there. And you know, Rap, you know the sniper's overwatching it too. I've got to make the right decisions here, not the wrong ones. How are you not dead? I said, how are you not dead? Walk fire, finish him off. Why the Berserker kill him if you shoot? The Berserker's probably gonna kill someone no matter what. At least this way there's a chance it misses. Although I do really wanna get at least one- I really wanted to get one shot of damage into the Berserker so it might kill others. But I'm not gonna get that chance. You've got a hunker. This is fucked up on roll recognition, but it was less fucked up until I opened that door. Because of the damn Viper. Come on, evac! Alright, Psych Peter's down. Thanks for your good work on the rookie mission, Psych Peter. Where the fuck is evac? Firebrand! Oh shit, they're coming. They're coming. Alright, hanging in there, hanging in there. They're all over me.
Hang in there, Sully. No, wait, you're not Sully. Sully's dead. Hang in there also, Sully. Uh, not even breakfast! Oh god, what this? What this? Zambi! Oh no! They're making us into zombies. Now we're gonna kill him twice. Holy shit, dude! We are leaving! Fire friend! Get us out of here! Come on, it's gotta be next turn. It's gotta be next turn. It's gotta be next turn, everyone. Just hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Jake, stop this crazy thing! Can you grapple out of suppression? How does that work? Pretty good hot Zid. Oh, you're not suppressed, I see. They're all suppressed, too. I can get that body. I can get that body. Bodies, who's suppressing you? Fuck it, you can make it. Yeah, will never get you. Alright, I gotta try and grapple out of this suppression. Try and grapple over near the... <laughs> near the evac! Maybe try to shoot the one suppressing first. Or are you the one suppressing me in the first place? You're the one suppressing me in the first place. Probably take the shot. Yeah, I'll take the shot. That lance is fucking crazy. He was fucking suppressing me in the open. Look, it's spaghetti time! Spaghetti time here! Like, what, third or fourth mission of this XCOM unit? Getting suppressed, Lance with the charge in him in the open in the street! Spaghetti time's just trying to make his own way out of here, I think. Spaghetti time's looking out for number one. You two, you gotta run. Y'all screwed. That Berserker's gonna hit someone again, too. I've gotta hit that Berserker, so maybe they shoot someone else. Maybe they enrage and hit their friends. That's the only chance I got. I think. Who can, who can even do that at this point? Only the shotgunner. And only if I don't get that body. So I can grab the body next time. Get out of there. Save yourself, spaghetti time! Save yourself! I go. Get in that cover! Have a special place in the void for those who betray them. It's all the so-called skirmishes. Don't listen to him, spaghetti time, you're gonna make it out! Someone's gonna make it out of this, right? They have to. Fuck, you're suppressed too. Hey, you got a shot though. Because of that, that wall is holding. Oh wait, fucking you, I forgot about you. Fucking shit. Here the dead are you. No time to fall back yet, soldiers. You just gotta hold. What can you cyclic fire for me, soldier? 
Maybe some area suppression? No, you can't see him. Can we suppress the guy who's suppressing Manball and get Manball back out of there? Manball might just have to hunker this turn, I think. Make a dash. I'd say take out that mech before it makes things worse. Or at least try to! Light it up! Ah, uh, it's not dead! You gotta dead eye this guy, this dead guy. Or you trust in the close combat specialist to get rid of it. I don't know if I trust that right now. I gotta get this. I gotta get rid of this zombie. Don't take the dead eye, just take the normal eye. What did you expect? Hang in there. Hang in there, man bull. Please, if, if Evac doesn't get here next turn, everyone's dead and no one's making it out. This is the turn, Firebrand, to show up. Ah! Shit, he finally got a flank on me. I hope you've got a good medic. Please, not two flanks. Oh god. Incoming fire! No! Get down! Better clean that wound. Wouldn't want it to get infected. <laughs> I'm taking fire! Please, Firebrand! I don't remember what I set delay evac to. Please be this turn. That one hurt a little. Jesus purifier! Oh my god, hang in there. I'm all right. Fuck a doodle do. Ah! These are weak nades just like mine. Oh shit. I don't need a flamethrower on my evac zone. No! Oh god, pistol crit! Now the Berserker's gonna be able to kill you! Spaghetti time! Flank! Hold on! Ah! Spaghetti time! Get out of there! <laughs> oh shit! Please, Firebrand! We are going to die here! Firebrand, come on! It's... It's set to like three turns in the I and I. Why is this happening? How many turns has it been? It's not meant to take this long. We're all fucking, we're all dead. We're all dead. Unless we can kill that Berserker. Stormblast says it adds a turn for every enemy within visual range. Wait, are you serious? That's not good. That's a joke? Okay, that's a joke. Okay. I'm checking what, what it's set to after this mission. This is too long. Sky Ranger call and mention if there's enemy any but resistance coming. Really? Do I need to get rid of that purifier? I think it's gonna be a wipe. 
I think we're going to wipe here. I don't think there's any way out. This was the turn to evac. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I call evac. If enemies just saying that evac it won't work, you mean this hero purifier saved the day? Will it come in next turn if we get rid of them? This fucking purifier fucked us. You might be right. Sawn off that berserker. Both barrels for you, etc. Whatever happens, I think we're running some suppression. Maybe you should uncheck that box regarding aliens. Don't worry, it'll happen soon. It'll all be over soon. If I run you over to here. And I reload. What a here. But that's gonna kill you if that purifier explodes. That'll do it, I think. I run you over to here. And reload. It's gonna give you six to ten on both of them unless you die first. Probably try to do a bunch of damage to the Berserker to try and kill it before everything goes to hell. Firebrand is parallel parking. Firebrand's doing fucking something that isn't saving our lives. Kelly's already flanked. I think Kelly's just gotta try and, like, be a hero. I think Kelly's just going to be a magnificent hero over here if you can make the run, Kelly. I mean, your tax sense should be kicking in pretty good, right? Order confirmed. Moving out. Holy shit, it didn't go off. Wait, you went suppressed? Both barrels for you, you bastard! Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Am I a joke to you? I can finish it now at least. You don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. Poor Manball's just been hiding this whole time and he needs to just keep hiding and pull as many shots as he can onto himself. What a fucking hero. Kelly Jelly, a fucking hero. Not so fun when it's one of yours. Is it Command Ball? Hang in there, Jesus! Whoa. I swear to God, if that purifier really is blocking my evac. I really need that CCS to go off. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. Damn it! They might seem mindless, but they still hit pretty hard, right? Damn it, this is a gun! You needed the CCS, that purifier. 
Oh, Jesus. Man. <laughs> oh, he's, out of, he's out of the evic zone. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, please just survive. Survive! Oh no! Oh my god! Manpool, you hero! <laughs> oh no! No, Manpool, no! <laughs> no, Manpool, no! No! This mission! You can't script this! Firebrand! Please! Firebrand, come on! Okay, this mod is actually broken. There's not gonna be any evac. I think this mod is actually just broken. We've called them evacs before, haven't we? I think the mod's actually bugged. That's a real fucking shame. Cause yeah, it's been like, it's been like five or six turns, hasn't it? That's a shame. Cause Advent shot down Fire Ran, I think that actually might be what happened. Unless you change it as a 10 tile exclusion zone by default. Yeah, I turned that off. I turn off the exclusion zone for situations like this. Maybe because it's halfway in the building? Maybe. Who knows? All I know is we're fucked. Is there any is there any console command to force spawn to force spawn the evac? Because I think this is actually like a legit a legit bug at this point. A legit problem. But then again, I didn't console the last bug on Retaliation, so... I guess this is what it is! Sorry, Spaghetti Time. Real sorry about all this. Fucking brutal. My control lost. Delicate. How'd you ever last this long? Poor skirmish had tried so hard. Oh, there goes the cover. Hanging on to the last HP. Spaghetti time. Spaghetti falling out of his pockets. With every hit. But he just can't hang in there. It's just too much. Oh god. Oh god, spaghetti time. <laughs> You get the feeling the bounce is a bit off. Well, you're meant to be able to evac, Bitfries. We got a legit bug here is the problem. You're meant to be able to evac from missions that are like this. Unfortunately, it's not happening today. About to get burned, we can't afford to take losses like this. The objective isn't worth the lives of our remaining troops. Yeah, good idea, Bradford. While we still can. Good idea, let's evac. Should have made a backup save. I, I mean, I can rejigger it with consoles and backup saves, but at the end of the day, I think this, I just got to play it as it lays right now. Yes, Commander. Oh no! Red Boy! Wait, no, not Red Boy. Ugh. 
What if Epex been there the whole time? It was just a visual. Oh, Jesus. All right. The first thing I got to do right now is I got to go to my INIs and I got to find out what the fuck are my INIs set up for delayed evac. We've evac'd our missions before, right? Have we? Have we evac from a mission? Have we done it yet? Oof. No, we've never done it. Maybe it's just bugged. Maybe I need to take it off and house rule it. I thought we evac'd once. Let me just check my configs for it. Hang on. Because that's kind of an issue. I'll play it as it lays that time, but I need to take that off if that's causing that problem. Evac now. Let's see the config. Evac yesterday, you nubs? Yeah, but that was a preset evac. Let's see. Evac now. Uh, where are the INIs for this? Wait, evac now isn't what I want. I want delayed evac. Maluka Marinero, Marinero has fucked me over for the last time. Okay. It says in my INI, it should be evac countdown turns three. Yeah, it wasn't that. Evac call cooldown turns five. That checks out. Exclusion radius zero. Exclusion radius visible false. Is there any chance that setting the exclusion radius to zero bugs it out? I don't know. I might just have to take it off and... It seems like it's bugged. I've used it before in vanilla, but it seems like it's bugged. I might just have to take it off and house rule the evac to be three turns. Which I can do. I can do that. It's just cooler when the mod does it. Um, let's see the comments. What do the comments of delayed evac say, actually? Hmm. Using this mod, I'm running into an issue in which the evac zone seems to be delayed indefinitely. I've set exclusion radius to one and I haven't touched anything else. Five turns later, Firebrand hasn't arrived Everything and my squad is being overrun. Is this a known issue? <laughs> Fucking Maluco Marinario, you son of a bitch! Well... Firebrand, we're gonna say Firebrand couldn't get in from all the fire this time, but we're gonna take that off and we're gonna have to start house ruling the delayed evacs. Ah! Oh! <laughs> These deaths, Commander, they were avo avoidable. I always check the comments. I'm, I don't know how I missed that one. You all, like, at least six of you could have lived. Okay, so I'm gonna have to restart the game real quick. Uh, just to take that mod off. That explains it. Firebrand did turn up in the water purifier retaliation. Oh yeah, the evac did show up in the... I guess it's just a bug that happens sometimes. All right, we've seen we could start coming back after one black site. Let's see, if we, uh, one, one, one code black. Let's see if we can come back after two code blacks. Extreme sports QA testing. I think that mission is a very good demonstration of that was a, a tactical, a tactical failure. The two problems there, I mean, the evac, we could have got out, could have got out and not squad wiped. Um, the, the mod bug, that's a problem, that's unintended. <laughs> oh my god, the picture! I think the main problem there is, personally I think the berserkers in every pod is a bit fucked, but I'm not going to turn it off for this run, I'm going to wait till next run. But just so you know what I think, I think it's a bit fucked. Um, I'm probably going to turn off that thing that lets you do multiple aliens in pods in the next run, because I think the game just isn't- Oh! Oh, that's right, I turned that on, yes. I think, uh, I think that it just isn't right quite, um, set up properly, if you just put it on and never changes how the pods work. Sissicon's alive, though. Maybe more of them, too, because we can't see everyone here. I did put on a Merciful Advent. Because I prefer that behavior, because otherwise no one ever gets captured. But Sisakan is alive. You're dead. I ain't got time to do fucking memorial pictures of everyone in coffins. Sorry, it just cluttered my photo booth up. I don't have that much room on my, uh... You were bound on my memory stick. Sorry, XCOM. ...operations over the course of our campaign, Commander. But there is little room for these ongoing setbacks. 
We must do better. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. We're definitely losing. I need more rookies. But I need to do better tactically. The problem of that mission, you saw how long we lasted against an area start. You saw how long we lasted with um, fighting th two or three pods at once. The problem was, I put us in an L-shaped fucking ambush against three pods. And that was the issue. I needed to just shoot the first pod. <sighs> like, it's a bit unfortunate too, because about the line of play I thought, alright, I'll scout. Worst case, you can always come back. And what ended up happening in their patrol, patrol routes is the left pod closed in on me, the right pod closed in on me, and then the gunfire started and they all closed in. Um... And it's just unfortunate with their patrol routes, they all decided randomly, hey, I want to go to this corner of the map. Which I believe it would have been random, because line of play is off. So... Yeah, exactly. Removing line of play is a double-edged sword, it works both ways, that's right. Because without line of play, they don't ghost you in concealment. But also without line of play, they can just randomly all decide to go to one corner of the map. Because they're not on a leash. Uh, which is why Lena Play was made, to stop people who are uh, having a bad time who were complaining about the Vexcom 1. I've just got to take that mod off, so I've got to restart the game real quick. And I'm just going to house rule the evac, which is fine. I did that with Battletech too, so that's fine. Alright, I'd say two wipes down is pretty harsh. Goodbye delayed evac, WOTC. Let me just leave a little comment here. I, too... Hello! Hello, I am on a mission, and <laughs> is this tech support? I am on a mission, and Firebrand is not coming. Three exclamation marks. Please send me a new Firebrand, and do not use this mod on Iron Man. Exclamation marks. It is definitely a little somewhat broken for what WOTC. Many exclamation marks. Let's try to save others from having that same experience. What did I say at the start of that mission? Modding requires sacrifice. I was talking about the rocket launchers. I didn't realize how true my words would be. That's right, one star Grubhub review for Firebrand. Let's take that one off. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom one sec too. Give me a sec. 451 Fireman says, Beegs, why keep the Iron Man restriction while testing? Kind of pointless, just purely from a time consideration. Um, because it isn't just testing, this is having fun. I don't mind, like, it's all fun. It's all good fun. If this campaign, like, dies, you know, this weekend or next weekend, we just start a new one. It's all fun to me. And then we get to iterate and make changes in between the week, like, bigger sweeping changes. It's fun. I'm having fun. If you're not having fun, I apologize, but this is the way I like to do it. I'm not, like, down or anything. It's all a game. And to be honest... I'm really glad I've done it this way, because for every Firebrand never showing up bug, I've had some really interesting experiences so far I haven't had before. I mean, if Firebrand had actually showed up on time, a lot of people are saying there's too many aliens, but if a Firebrand had showed up on time, that was a really fucking interesting mission. That evac last hold in the Quickie Mart, that was a really interesting hold. And I'm surprised how long they held for. Really long. It's fun, but I feel awful for burnt pies. Yeah, I think it was just yesterday they were saying Evil Soli and Burnt Pies are the only Bond couple that lasted beyond one mission uh, after being bonded. Well, bad news about that. Oh, you guys want to get my comment and post it in chat? Thank you. <laughs> I gotta dodge anything. Manball! I thought he was gonna live long enough to get captured. Manball with the counter stab on the Lancer. Stormblast says, honestly, I think Firebrand not showing up made it even more interesting, but sadly also totally ripped. I agree. Honestly, if it wasn't a bug and she would have eventually showed up, I'm not even mad about that mission. I think when I house through the Evex, I'll do it the way I'd like the mod to be set up, which is like variants. So it's probably, you know, like two to five, two to five turns. And if you roll the five, fuck you. And if you roll the two, good for you. It's interesting. It's drama, man. I really enjoy it. I honestly really enjoy it. It's very dramatic. The only thing is, can we keep this campaign going after two complete squad wipes? With Berserkers in every pod? I don't know. I think yes, except for this new thing that I've decided not to change for the next campaign of 
the multiple aliens thing. Hang on, just gotta switch this mod over. Would you like to remove XCOM delay to evac from... It has been deleted? Yes, thank you. Goodbye. The rocket, the one rocket we fired did a good job. Fuck that mech up. We need more laser cannons for... Yeah, Hunter didn't roast you after the white, he's just smug. He, he doesn't want to go too hard. He doesn't want to go too hard on me. Update 84. Yeah, thank you, Rodeo. I just grabbed that, actually. Thank you. Throwing that on as well. Perfect. Is the stream about to end? No, we're probably going to go for one or two more missions. Can you explain the multiple aliens thing? I will when we get back in. Just wait a second. Oh, me. Ah, oh, fuck. Hang on, I gotta quickly change shit because shit got- Oh no, wait, I've got it saved. I mean, I'm a smart man. I backed it up because I'm really smart. Beagle's so smart. That's why his mod's so genius. And it has nothing wrong with it. Perfect, flawless balance. Alright, that should be good. Do I make the ball crusher? Oh, no, 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 no! We're gonna keep on going! With this campaign, I'm going to try to keep going until I literally can't anymore, because I want to see how far we can push it. Well, I don't know. Like, maybe not literally until we can't anymore. We'll see. But uh, that's the idea. To not give up. Yeah, Ratboy just watched the whole fight and commentated. He didn't even do anything. Luckily, the loss didn't let him overwatch. The mod delayed evac. War of the Chosen no longer exists and has been hidden. Yes, thank you. Thank you, mod buddy. Exactly, Manda says the mod's designs, so you can get back from wipes, better test it out. Two wipes this close together, I'm not sure, but test it out, man. It's the only way we're ever going to find out. And as long as I'm still having fun, it's still something to play. Um, I gotta load up the game. I'll be right back, I just need to go to the bathroom, then I'll explain the aliens thing, then we'll keep going. So, we'll see if this loads up. I'm gonna back up my save real quick. Oops, I oops, the save corrupted. I gotta go back to the backup before that mission. Sorry, everyone. Oh no, I really wanted to keep going, but I guess we'll just have to replay it. Well, I mean, uh, well, you know, what can you do, honestly, when the game just crashes like that? Just crash, just crash, it's come to, just crash. Okay, good, good. Uh, okay, save Iron Man. Back that shit up. There we go. Let me just name it. Campaign 87. Everyone's dead again. Great. <laughs> Back into it. So. Yes, goodbye delayed evac WOTC. Goodbye forever. Too delayed. I mean, it does what the mod title says. I can't complain. It does exactly what it said it would. Um, so to explain the multiple aliens thing, because I, I explained it pretty flippantly. So, uh, to double the number of aliens in every pod, I use a mod called Configurable Pod Sizes. Uh, and that pod has a bunch of, uh, that mod has a bunch of checkboxes you can tick on and on for extra options. One of the options is, um, 
you know, should should this mod make it so that uh, aliens... I'll, I'll explain how it works in default first. So by default, there's a follower list of what kind of aliens can appear um, in what kind of pods. Every pod has a leader, so whether it's a captain, a trooper, whatever it is, they can be set up as leaders. And then each unit has a follower list. And that basically means if that unit is a leader in a pod, we're learning about XCOM 2 right now, this is cool. If that unit is a leader of the pod, then that is the list of aliens or advent or whatever that can spawn in the pod as their followers. Only them, no one else. Um, which is fine and dandy, but it gets a bit samey. So I saw the option in this configurable pod sizes mod that goes, do you want to allow it so that anybody, like aliens, can be in the follower list? Um, is that fine? And... I thought that would be fun to try, and it has been, until now. Um, but really what I was expecting was more like, okay, you know, you get like an advent captain leader, and now there's a, you know, there's a viper in the pod when they wouldn't normally, or there's like, maybe there's a viper and the viper gets a viper friend, or there's two sectoids, that'd be interesting. Um, how it seems to actually play out with that checkbox on from our experience in this campaign is just like, here's a viper and a muton and a berserker, and a faceless, and that's the pod, and here's four of them, and it's like, ah, I don't know about that one. Um, so I'm probably going to turn it off for next campaign, but I did promise I wouldn't for this one, so it's going to keep going. Yeah, Berserker with a Berserker friend, that's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Iridar is still working, has very kindly updated the AT4s. Let's see if they uh, show up in Armory now. Hey, hey, hey! Good, because we're going to need a lot of these. Missing name. Ah, fuck localization. Fuck that. It's working. That's what matters right now. Thank you, Iridar, for your little intermission update. Perfect timing, dude, because I had to take up the other thing. So, just like the black site, I don't feel unfair about that last mission. I fucked that last mission up. And it's fascinating how much harder I have to think and how much harder I have to work with a setup like this. Which is... I put us in a terrible situation. And you know, you can say it's random that patrols came over, but that is what happened, and it could happen. I needed to just whack that first pod as soon as I saw them. I was too scared. Sorry about localization. That's fine. No, I'm just joking. I don't, I don't care. Um, I know what the rocket does. I don't need text to tell me. It kills things. I was too scared to just be like, let's just fight the first pod first. Plus, I wanted to get greedy and get closer to the objective and try to stealth it. Um, which in the end, they screen me really well to prevent that. Um... But if I had just fought that- I mean, you saw how long we lasted. With people going down instantly, in half cover, against an L-shaped ambush of like three to four pods. If I had just fought that first pod, just straight up, and just fought one pod at a time without being flanked, we probably could have killed them all. Um, people probably would have got wounded, maybe someone would have died, but we could have done it. And that's what I've got to start adjusting my mindset for. I've got to stop- I've got to start moving- yeah, the door. The door was a bad move as well. That was bad. I- Thought the Viper was going to get flashbang with the rest of them, but the Viper was on the right. Say, Levy. The door was critical. We'll always remember the door. The traitorous door. Um, but the point being, I've got to adjust my mindset for this run. And I, in, a very, in a way I really like. Instead of doing the more gamey style of XCOM where it's like, uh, you know, just pod, delete, pod, delete, pod, delete, grenades, grenades, consumable management, um, you know, shit like that. It's more about, I have to be... Uh, it's not like XCOM 2 where I can do flawless missions. I can expect flawless missions. I cannot think of that because that's very dangerous. When I play missions and I'm too scared to put anyone in a position where they could get hit, let alone die, um, it, it's it's just not it's not serving people well because people are going to get wounded, people are going to die. You need a Reaper? Yeah, Reaper would have helped a lot. Losing Reaper early fu fucked me up. But people are going to die. People are going to get wounded. That's the point. And when I try to play missions in a way where it's like the always win scenario, like I don't accept the no win scenarios that I get into very often. And when I'm too scared to just fight through and maybe lose a couple people, um, but get through, and too scared to rely on a little bit of luck, because XCOM Vanilla is not about relying on luck. It's about invalidating luck and stacking the odds in your favor. And that's still what this is, but we've got a lower cap for how high we can stack our luck, how high we can stack our advantages. Um... So I've got to... Yeah, like the rookie mission. Exactly. Yesterday, we did a rookie mission. Um, we didn't activate all the pods at once. Helps a lot. But also, yesterday we had a rookie mission, and we just weren't really aggressive. People went in half cover, and if they died, they died. Um, shit like that. And I've got to be more comfortable doing shit like that. Because if I can't adapt my style, I'm never going to get good at this different style of playing XCOM. 
So that's what I've got to keep remembering, is I've got to keep remembering this is a different ball game. And I have to much more... I think I have to much more think of how to lead these missions in a more... Like, if the real world is here, and XCOM gaminess is here, and usually we play, like, to this, I've got to, like, bring the slider over a bit. You know, I'm not gonna, like, you know, like, prepare three different evac plans, and CASAVAC, and a communications order plan, and, and shit like that. And, you know, plan every mission for four days. But I'm saying, like, I need to bring the slider a bit further towards actual tactics. Which is what I've said the entire time. Because... I think the way this is playing now, it's it's further on the slider towards requiring real tactics than requiring XCOM style tactics. And that's tough, because that means I have to unlearn everything I do as a habit. Uh, it's tough. I've got to unlearn everything I've learned in a lot of ways. We'll see. There's always an X campaign if it goes horribly. Oh god. If you don't take the memorials, do they auto take them? They auto take a couple. <laughs> Are you guys still alive? You two are still alive, right? Tell me some love is still in my- Oh, here it does! Skirmisher Bond is gone! Having more useful grenades would help too, which is something I want to look at before the next campaign. Definitely. The frag grenades are pretty much useless at this point. I want to look at that, but not- not yet. Wolf and Flanker are still alive. I mean... Zaranel and Donny Johnny are still alive. There's still some love in the barracks. Uh, <laughs> My mood right now, or Iridar's mood right now. We can just sum it up with this picture. All right, I've got to get back in there. Plated armor is coming. I didn't get the scientist. I really needed the scientist to make plated armor quicker. I've got to get more rookies too. I think I have a team right now. I think I have one team. Hello, one team, please. One, two, three, four, five. Nope! No, I don't. I need to go to Purple Hospital. I need to go back to Purple Hospital. How's the memorial doing? So have you heard about these people running around out in the woods calling themselves Reapers? Hell, maybe you've met one. If you have, then you've probably heard about their unique dietary regimen. And if you haven't heard, let me give you a tip. Working is intended. Alright, let's get back out there. We've had our grieving time in between missions. It's all good. Let's keep going. Uh, 13 hours for more supplies. Anything about to expire? I can't let those rookies expire. I, I need those free rookies. That was a little ugly. Let's, uh... How you oh. manage to convince these recruits to join after a mission like that? Okay. I mean, one, you're not wrong. Two, propaganda. Three, stop calling me. Please. Bad boy didn't even, uh... This is a good point. How do we get these people to keep joining? I don't know. You guys want a raffle? Just like that, apparently. You guys want to go to Disneyland? I'll take you to the amusement center if you stay in XCOM. Avenger plotting new course. <laughs> People I feel bad for are the YouTube watchers. You know, I just released the, the Blackside video on YouTube today. I wonder if it's a coincidence. It's funny because... Avenger plotting new course. The mission prior to the Blackside, of course, another soldier died. And uh, in the comments of the YouTube, when that one dropped, before I released the Blackside one, someone left a comment like, Oh, they were my favorite soldier! I'm so sad they died! I'm just looking here, like, releasing the Blackside video, like, Oh, oh, oh have I got a mission for you, buddy? <laughs> Oh, my favorite died, but at least the rest are alive. Has he ever released the squad wipe on YouTube? Iron Man Impossible, baby. That's our legacy. I used to play XCOM 1 vanilla, not even Long War, and lose on the first terror mission. Don't you guys remember? That's my most popular series. Everyone loves watching me squad wipe. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if the YouTube watchers can take these squad wipes. They never saw Escalation back in the day. I don't know if they've got the constitution for this much tragedy. The Infinity War of my XCOM series is... Avenger plotting new course. That's right, my dick has grown resistant to the brick. 
There is a reason Dick Bricker was named that, and Twitch viewers know. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, spin all the plates, keep them from expiring. All right, let's go to Purple Hospital. I need to go to Purple Hospital. I need the rookies, actually. Can we get the rookies? Avenger plotting new course. Cruel too because. To hear what excuse my people <laughs> get the jump on them. I don't need more death soldiers. I was just saying I wonder it's it's cruel too because the black side white happens then you have like those three missions we did yesterday and it's like oh we're coming back and YouTube viewers are gonna be like yeah and then you hit this one it's like oh. Did you think you were just going to sneak right on by? Do you complete the mission even if they die? Do you still get the benefit of the covert action? One person says nope, other people say yes. Yep, you do. No, yep. No one fucking knows. You're all saying yes and no. You still win the covert action. Hopefully. We need that Reaper really bad. Every person who dies, we need that Reaper more so we can big boss the facilities. Which I'm not sure how balanced that is, but right now, we're playing it as it lays on this campaign, so... I, <laughs> I'm just reaching out for Reapers. Imagine how different this campaign would be if I had evac Indigo instead of trying to get out of the, the vial. But that was a good example of me not accepting the no-win scenario. And uh, throwing a dead Reaper in of the rest of my losses. Yes, squad up before in a COVID action. And it worked, right? It worked, right? I think it worked. 